Hey everybody, welcome to the midweek update for March 27th. Great weekend? It was a great weekend. I really enjoyed the Worship Anyway concert. I did too. Worship yeah. night. I shouldn't call it a concert. It was not a concert. It was not a concert, but yes, it was a very powerful worship night. It was really awesome to see folks from our church mm -hmm. and from you know surrounding churches and, and the unchurched and just everybody coming to worship. It was a pretty cool experience. It was. And I love that we saw children, we saw senior citizens, yeah. and we saw everything in between. And we sang songs that were written last month, and we sang songs that were written hundreds of years ago that have um, inspired Christians for generations. Yeah, uh, the variety of music was pretty awesome. And it was just a, a powerful time of worship, and uh, for those of you that helped and volunteered um, and welcomed so many folks into our church, we just thank you for your time and your efforts, and for those of you that came out to worship, thanks for uh, worshiping with us and, and supporting uh, Josh and the Worship Anyway team, mm -hmm. and I think it was a job well done by, by everyone. Yeah, I would agree. So Really awesome, really powerful night. Yeah, and we have more going on in the life of our church, and so it's probably a perfect segue over to our announcements. Well, Brian, I don't know if you're aware of this, but it is Holy Week. It is Holy Week. That means we have a jam-packed schedule towards the end of the week. That's right. It's a it's a very busy week, but it's a very uh, powerful and awesome week, too. For sure. Uh, two of my favorite services this week. We're going to have a Monday-Thursday service on Thursday. Which makes sense. That makes... I mean, if we did it on Saturday, that would confuse a lot of people. Right. So we're going to have that Monday-Thursday on Thursday at 6.30 right here at Wapak First. Or if you happen to be in the Salina area for some reason, there's a service there too. That's right. Um, at the same time. So we'll be doing parallel services with our sister church. And then on Friday, uh, we'll be having one service for both churches at 630 for Good Friday. That's right. And that's here. That is here. Yep. It is here this year. So Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday services both here, 630. And the days are built right in. So uh, it's easy to tell. You know, don't come to the Good Friday service on Saturday because we won't be here. That's right. Um, a couple of other announcements. Uh, you may have seen the gospel symbols. Uh, the he came, he died, he rose, he ascended, he's coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, on the back of a lot of cars in the parking lot. And if you would like your car to not feel left out, uh, we still have more of those decals available. That's right. I was at Community Market the other day and, and saw a car that... I know belongs to somebody who doesn't go to this church that had those symbols, and I, I thought, man, that's really cool. That'd be really cool if this, you know, just kind of ripples out. The entire community has yeah. the gospel symbols on it. That would be wonderful. So, uh, if you or someone you love would like some decals for your car, uh, check with Sayward at the Welcome Center. And if you need some help, maybe you're like, you know, I've never done a decal, or I'm not good at putting things on straight, and I don't want mine going this way. Yeah. Um, Ask for some help, and we'll get somebody out to wash your window and, and get the decal on there That's for right. you. Our next potluck is going to be April the 7th. That's coming up quick. It is. Week after uh, Easter. Yeah, after the 10 o'clock service. Um, and uh, we talked about the Matthew 7, 12 uh, project in one of our other midweeks. It's, it's a mission project uh, taking clean water to people around the world, and there will be a speaker at the potluck to give us some more information on that mission mm -hmm. opportunity. Um, also, uh, the office will be closed on April the uh, 1st for Easter. That's right. And on, it says April the 18th for something else I'm taking it. April the 8th. Oh, April the 8th. Uh, that is the eclipse day. Oh, yes, eclipse day because so we're all going to be eclipsing that we're, day. We're, uh, we're assuming, just based on all the talk, that Walpock will be very crowded that day. Yeah, hopefully, you know, I was talking to Lindsay about this. Is it going to be like, you know, when the meteorologists are like, we're going to get 10 inches of snow, and then you wake up and it's just a flurry? Right. I did see today that they're predicting cloud cover mm. on the 8th. So hopefully not. Pray yeah. pray for the best, right? Well, we'll see. And yeah, so I think that that's all of the announcements that we have. All right, well, let's jump over to our birthdays. Hey, everybody. Brian and I are coming at you live from the future. Yes, it is the future. I mean, we just love to make more editing work for ourselves, yes. don't we? Yes. Anything we can do to make 
the midweek a little bit more challenging for editing purposes. Yeah, we love a challenge. But uh, in the announcement time, we got done with the midweek, and then we realized we forgot the most important announcement. That's right. So on April the 7th, our church will uh, be conducting our vote as to whether or not we're going to remain independent. All the details around how that is going to work are on a video that's already up on the YouTube page and will be included as a link in the email going out with a link to this midweek update. But in a nutshell, you will have two Sundays to vote. So it'll the voting will open on April 7th. Um, you can pick up a ballot, take it home, come in throughout the week and pick one up. Um, they're all going to be dropped in the church offering boxes. And then the final day to vote will be that following Sunday. You can bring them back or come in that Sunday. So, you know, if maybe you're not going to be here one Sunday, but you're going to be here a different one, um, you'll have a week to vote. That's right. So we will uh, take your name down, but then it, it's going to be a fairly simple process, I think. Right. We're recording names only because we want to have make sure that we keep a record of who voted just um, for the purpose of having a log. But right. Uh, that would that will be the only thing, and um, you know, if you have somebody, maybe a parent in a nursing home or something, and they can't get here to get a ballot, you can just give their name, take the ballot. We're going to trust you to get it to them, and uh, bring bring it back. And so, without being redundant, there's a video that's included here that will flush this out in more detail. But we do want to stress: if you have any questions after watching that video, Aaron Longsworth is always here. Eric is here when he's not at work. Uh, track one of those two guys down. They'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, you can talk to anybody else on the lead team. You can talk to Brian and I. Uh, we don't want there to be any confusion around this. And I think Eric and Aaron have done a great job of bringing clarity to this process. And I certainly appreciate their leadership. Yeah, for sure. And I would say that that video definitely will clarify some of those possible questions that folks might have. Yeah, so we're we'll jump right back into our midweek update. Happy birthday this week to Sarah Bill, Pam Martin, and Ron Latimer. So happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. We hope you have a great week and get some spring weather. That's right. Yeah. Well, Brian, let's jump over to our reflection of the week. For our reflection of the week this week, I want to talk about a mission that our church has been involved in for at least three years now. Um, and that is our Living Stones initiative or our Living Stones partnership. And for those of you that don't know, our church is in partnership with two other churches. And we've partnered with uh, other churches in this that have kind of come and gone. But right now we're in partnership with Salina Bethany Church in Salina mm -hmm. and uh, Wesley Church in Van Wert, Ohio. And so all three churches, we share pastors, we share resources. And it's a way for us to not do the same thing three different times. Right. So, you know, um, if one church is doing something that can be shared within all three churches, we want to do that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we're doing, as you know, is uh, we've talked about this a little <coughs> bit in, in service and both on and on the midweek, is we have these Bible study guides that we're going to do that are going to accompany the sermon. It's going to be a way for us to study the Bible 15 minutes a day, uh, take a deeper dive into Scripture, and our hope would be that there's reflection questions at the end of each section mm -hmm. and that you might get in a small group uh, of people, whether that be people from the church, people in your workplace, people somewhere that you just go in and interact. I know somebody's talking about doing this at a coffee shop. You know, the, the opportunities are endless. And so we're going to be working through these guides each week. And one thing that I'm going to be doing is producing a video with just a five to ten minute a week kind of help. If you, if you feel like you're getting stuck, we want to offer people help. Okay. Well, YouTube has a policy where you're not allowed to post the same video in more than one location. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense for them because they pay for all the bandwidth. And if I post the same video three times, they're paying for me to have that up in three different locations. Right. And so you can actually get your YouTube channel shut down. At least that's my understanding. I'm not a tech guru. <laughs> 
Um, but from what I've read online, it's a big no-no to post the video in three different places. Well, with each church using these videos, we figured that we need to start up a YouTube page um, that each church can use. And so we're going to be launching the Monday after Easter a new YouTube page, which will be www.youtube.com slash the at sign, kind of like with your email. So the okay, at yeah. sign, Living Stones OH. And I'm going to put that a graphic with that address up on the screen so that you have that. And we're still going to send the emails out with the links to these videos. Mm. So if you access the midweek by clicking on the link that Janice is sending out, um, no problem because you're you're not going to do anything differently. You're just going to click on click on a link. But if you're somebody that gets it through subscribing to the channel and it comes up on your YouTube feed, you're going to want to go to that site. You're going to want to go to that section of YouTube, www.youtube.com slash at living stones oh and you're going to want to subscribe to that channel because we're going to be posting videos that are relevant to all three churches in that space right and so what you want to think about if it's something that's exclusive to wapak first it will be on the wapak first youtube channel so our weekly sermons for example will be on the wapak first youtube channel the midweek update since it's just for wapak first will be on mm -hmm. the wapak first youtube channel the, the guides around the Bible studies, because all three churches are using them, will go on that Living Stones right. YouTube channel. Because that's the shared page. It's shared. And mm -hmm. you know what? Jesus says that we should share. He, he does say that. Yeah. Um, and so that's what we're doing. We're sharing what we have. And I'm really excited because on Monday, we're going to be launching a video that has five historical proofs that the resurrection really happened. Mm-hmm. And so you're going to want to check that video out. Uh, Christianity is the only religion in the history of the world that's historically verifiable. We have that going for us. We do have that going for us. Um, and Jesus really did rise from the dead, and there's proof. And so in that video, it's about a 30-minute video, and we give five reasons why uh, we know that the resurrection is historically accurate. That's going to be on the Living Stones YouTube page. Uh, we'll probably send a link to that on Wednesday with next week's midweek week update. Week, yeah. Um, so yeah, sounds good. And that's a it's a lot of good information for folks to have, especially with uh, this upcoming series and these resources and just the shared resources for all the church. Yep. Right. And I had somebody ask me about the resources today. They're like, "Well, how do you want me to use them?" Well, they're a tool. Um, you know, it'd be yeah. like somebody saying, "How do you want me to use the hammer?" Well, you know, normally you're going to probably drive some nails with it, but I've seen people use a hammer to do other things. And you just have to know how to use the tools within your own life. So take a look at them. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us via email, phone, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to get with everybody and make sure that we're all, you know, working together in the way that God wants us to. Brian and I, we think our, our primary calling is to help you live into whatever God's calling you to do. That's right. So the YouTube pages are a resource for you. We want you to use them in that way. These study guides, they're a resource for you. If there's something we can do to make them more helpful, don't hesitate to let us know because we, we want to do that. We're here to serve you. And um, I believe that that's really all that we have. We'll be talking a little more about this um, in the weeks ahead just because we know it's new and sometimes it's helpful to hear about it a few different ways and it a few is. different yeah. um, vehicles. So anything else? I don't think so. All right. Well, would you pray for us? Sure. Heavenly Father, I pray that as we continue through this Holy Week, Lord, that we take time to slow down, that our focus be on you and on the gift that is your son, Jesus, and all that he did for each and every one of us. So, Lord, I pray for each and every person watching this video that they have a blessed Holy Week, that they spend time with you, and God, that we come together to worship throughout this week on Thursday and Friday and on Resurrection Sunday. So, God, I uh, thank you for all that you are, all that you've done in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Brian. Yep. Well, we hope that you have a wonderful week. Have a great week, everybody.